For this tutorial, I'm going to use a bodice with a side seam dart and a waist dart. Next, I'm going to trace my bodice on a pattern paper. From the bust point, I'm going to extend a horizontal line and this line is the bust level. Next, from the bust point, extend a vertical line touching the shoulder level. Next, get the one foot measurement of the vertical line. For example, my measurement is 9 3 8 inches or 24 centimeters. I will divide this by 4 equals to 2 3 8 inches or 6 centimeters. By the way, use your own measurement for this one. From the bust level, I'm going to mark up 2 3 8 inches or 6 centimeters. This is the guideline for the neckline. Next, from these marks, I'm going to draft a horizontal line. From the bust point, I'm going to mark up 1 to 8 inches or 3 centimeters. From the neckline at vertical line, mark out 3 8 inch or 1 cm each side. From these marks, connect slant lines towards the bust point. Next, from the center front at bust level, mark out 3 8 inch or 1 cm each side. From these marks, connect slant lines going towards bust point. From bus point, mark down the under bus measurement, example 248 inches or 6.3 centimeters. Mind you that my measurement is different from yours. From the under bus marks, mark out 38 inch or 1 centimeter each side. Again, from these marks, connect slant lines going towards the waist. From these marks, draft curved lines going towards bus point. Next, decrease the side seam by 4 8 inch or 1.2 cm. And close the side seam dart permanently. From the 4 8 inch or 1.2 cm mark, draw a slant line going towards the waist. And as you guys can see, I will cut out the waist art till bust point so I can draft easily.
and I will close the dart at the bust level permanently. And we are done with the contouring principle for Debussier. Let's move on to the first technique of Debussier with bust cups. From center front at bust level, mark in 3 8 inch or 1 cm. And mark up 4 8 inch or 1.2 cm. From the 3 8 inch or 1 cm mark, draw a curved line connecting to the underbust mark at dart leg. From side seam at armhole, mark down 4 8 inch or 1.2 cm. And from the new side seam, mark in 1 inch or 2.5 cm. And connect this mark going towards the underbust mark at dart leg. Next, I'm going to close the dart at the neckline or the style line. Next, at the 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters mark, I'm going to draw a curve line connecting to the 3 8 inch or 1 centimeter mark at center front. From the neckline or style line, I'm gonna mark down 1 for 8 inches or 3.8 centimeters and I made it sure to hit the dart. Next, I'm gonna connect these marks and draw another curve line, like this one. And I'm just going to cut out the dart to make my pattern flat. Next, I'm gonna cut out and separate my patterns. Next, I'm going to combine the lower part of the bustier together, like this one. For the bust cups, I'm going to adjust the bust point areas. From the bust point or bust level, mark out 2 8 inch or 0.6 cm.
from these marks, draw curved lines blending towards the original lines or draft. And we are done with the first technique for the bustier with buzz cups. Et voila! This is my pattern for the first technique of bustier with buzz cups. Here is the side, and here is the front. Next, let's move on to the second technique. For the second technique, I use the same contouring principle, disregarding the curved lines and the 1 to 8 inch mark up at the bust point. From center front at bust level, Mark up and mark down 5 8 inch or 1.5 centimeters. From the 5 8 inch or 1.5 centimeters mark, draw a curved line connecting to the underbus mark at dart leg. From the 5 8 inch or 1.5 cm mark, draw a curved line connecting at the neckline dart. Next, from the underbust mark, draw a straight horizontal line going towards the side seam. From the neckline dart, draw a style line connecting at the side seam or armhole. Do this by freehand. Next, close the neckline dart permanently. From the empire line or the straight horizontal line at side seam, mark up 1 inch or 2.5 cm. From the 1 inch or 2.5 cm mark, connect a straight line to the bus point, like this one. Next, I'm gonna cut out and separate my patterns. And I'm gonna combine the lower part of the bustier together. Next, I'm gonna cut the bus cups in half. And combine the lower bus cups together.
For the bus cups, I'm going to adjust the bus point areas, just like what we did earlier. From the bus point, mark out 2 eighths inch or 0.6 centimeter. From this mark, draw a curved line blending towards the original lines or draft of the bus level. For the upper cup, let's do the same procedure. For this second technique, we only have two bus cups, an upper one and the lower one. And we are done with the second technique. And voila! So this is my pattern for the second technique of the Boussier with bus cups. Here is the side, and here is the front. By the way guys, comment down below which bustier you prefer to make and please comment down below if you have any questions about this tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel La Modeliste and I'll see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!